What's up, people? Jack here, and it's episode 5 of Sword Art Online Bridge. I've been told this one is pretty hot, and I am just gonna dive straight into it. The last one was uh, <laughs> kind of fun with the ending there. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I firmly believe that she actually, well, within the continuity of the bridge, attacked Kirito. I don't suppose that she is going to make a comeback later, but who knows? They have an entire association established around a freaking cat. So I wouldn't be surprised if that were to happen. That being said, let us get right into it. The following is a non profit fan based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, the meeting. That's, it. That's how we'll beat him! Sheep tar the Sheep King, your reign is at an end. If that thing hadn't already killed seven of us, I'd say this was a really stupid boss. We'll get just close enough to aggro him. Then, our archers will kite him all the way to the village. Once he's there, he'll be too distracted killing NPCs to notice us. Then, we move in for the kill. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We can't just go around sacrificing NPCs! Some of my best friends have been NPCs! That makes way too much sense. We must Bruh. save my family! You see? Some of them even have fat. Oh boy. Oh no, he shouldn't have come back. Trauma's about to get triggered. Let's go! Gary! <laughs> Tell me! to go say hi to an old friend who <laughs> won't be a minute. Hey, Gary! Long time oh, no! They missed a wonderful opportunity to do a Fallout reference here. Uh, Gary. Gary! I'm no see! We must save my... Ah! Yeah! Well, Bet you didn't expect to see me again, did you? Punk? We must save my family! You left us to die, you bastard! We must save my this family! This is Versace! Choke on it! Choke on my vengeance! How does it taste? Yeah, you know what? Maybe he has a point. I have to say, a choke on my vengeance sounds like an act that Batman would do for foreplay. J just saying. This is super uncomfortable. Actually, I can't remember what this episode specifically is about. Isn't this where they made the blacksmith again? To his shop. Oh yeah, the so? Attack on Titan moment. How's your day going? You're looking pretty relaxed there, buddy. Ah, pretty good. This grass feels amazing. Cool, cool. You, uh, you want to know what I did today? Not particularly, but I suspect that wasn't a real question. I was fighting goddamn sheep tar! It was great! You should have been there! He was climbing the walls, spitting ass. <laughs> That's not a sheep. Right? Not like a fluffy xenomorph. It's a really stupid boss! Apparently not that stupid if it killed seven of you. Twelve now, actually. Oh, well, that's a thing. But I mean you survived, so hi. So Dame, uh Kirito, you you're right there, buddy? The lack of sarcasm is uh Oh, oh. This grass feels amazing. Ah. Uh, that was a little bit slow. That grass is amazing. <laughs> okay, I, I I get it now. It's the Zanza. Okay, what the hell is wrong with you? You're way too mellow. Well, I had some time to kill before the raid, so I figured I'd power level my alchemy a bit by eating some weird plants. And now uh, everything's high as a kite. Great. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe this. You're the one that insisted we couldn't use the NPCs as bait. And then you go in! Asna, 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 look, okay? I get it. You had a really bad day. You're stressed out. Seven people died. Twelve people! Not the point. Look, they're dead now. And really, whose fault is that? Yours! That's right. No one's. Bruh. A stoner with a sense of empathy as negative as it is cold in the Antarctic. That is a terrifying combination. I really do hope that he stays like this for the entire episode. That would be great. So why don't you lie down, relax, and watch the stars with me? It's two in the afternoon! There are no stars! Only if you're looking with That's your one. eyes. What the hell does that mean? Only one way to find out. You better come down soon so I can kick your teeth in. <laughs>
<laughs> Moments later. Uh, now, what the? Asuna? What is she doing here? Ah, oh, looks oh, like someone's snuggled. having a good time. A boy becomes a man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's give them some privacy. Huh, those dude bros make an interesting point. There's dude an bros. above average girl sleeping next to me, and no one around to interrupt. I, I mean, as a man, there's really only one option here. I beg, I beg your, pardon. your pardon. I beg, I beg your, your pardon. pardon. Look, I, I, I know that they eventually do do the uh, Baoshika well, well smooching moment there, but it's way later. And spoiler alert for those who have not seen the actual show, they end up having a kid, a virtual kid who's not actually made through the conception. It's like an adoptee kind of. It gets complicated, but. Oh god. The show has a very creepy uh, thing like this, but not Kirito, right? <laughs> What's he gonna do? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> okay. Hey sleepyhead, how was your- ah, Tell me what you did right now and you may live! Hide your whiskers on your face! What? I drew cat whiskers on you because I thought it would be funny, and it was. Is... is that all? Um, yeah? You were asleep. What else would I have done? <laughs> well, I, I... I... I mean... You know... You, you could have... Like, do you want to get something to eat? Ah, <laughs> uh, restaurant. No way she... Oh no, Asuna. Is that what long exposure to the inability of opening a menu does to a person? Damn. Finest cuisine in all of Aincrad. Oh my god, are you really gonna complain about a free meal? Oh, it serves me right for trying to do something nice for you. Yeah, remind me to draw on your face more often. I'll eat like a king. Or at least a very wealthy janitor. <laughs> this coming from the guy who ate random plants off the ground. Oh really? Well, who's dumber? Me or the one who takes a nap next to some crazed drug fiend? Need I remind you that you were that drug fiend? <laughs> I can't be held responsible for stoned Kirito. That guy's an idiot. Are you <laughs> kidding me? You're the same person! <laughs> oh, oh no! Looks like we are out of time. We'll have to continue this next week, but in the meantime, oh, the please enjoy these lovely consolation prizes from the Kitty Toe is Always Right Foundation. Oh my god, you're insufferable! Oh my god! Huh, look, a human pinata. Kitty Toe, he's dying! Uh, oh. Correction, he's suffering. But I remembered it as the person was. Too much Evangelion symbolism going on in my head right now, so no, no. Uh, forget about it. It was impaled to the wall. Town's a safe zone. Probably hurts like a bitch, but he's not gonna die in here. Oh. And home. <laughs> hey man, when you pop, could you try to send the candy over this way? I'm gonna go cut him down, you jackass. I'll save you a Kit Kat. Hey, anybody got like a 30 foot stick? I wanna take a crack at this thing. Please. Oh. oh, don't be such a drama queen. Asna's gonna have you down, eh? Huh. So, did anyone see where the candy went, or? <laughs> Thank you, Ito! A man just died! Let it go! Once again, Asuna, you can't die in a safe zone. It must have been an event or a prank. Someone messing with an NPC. Oh, yeah, that's a real hilarious prank. I know, right? I'm kind of sad I didn't think of it. Um, excuse me. My name is Yoko. I knew the man who just died. <laughs> you, uh, you mean NPC? Nope. Right? No, his name was Kynes. We came into town to have dinner, but we got separated. And then... Oh, God! <laughs> Good job, Kirito. So, the Kirito is always right, Foundation. We're, uh, going through a bit of a rough patch. <laughs> Thank you for walking me to my hotel. I don't really feel safe walking alone right now. It's no trouble, but we'd like to ask you some more questions tomorrow, if that's all right. Of course. Yeah, and don't worry. No one could possibly get you in here since we're in a safe. So... Good night. Smooth. All right, let's review. <laughs> we heard a scream, ran outside, and saw the victim hung by the neck with a sword through his chest. 
I don't think it's a coincidence that this took place in the town square during the dinner rush. Someone wanted this to be seen. Of course, to bring attention to the whole thing, to start some drama. Ah, uh, yes, but that just raises a bigger question. Oh, and what's that? Why do you even care? I'm sorry, are you asking me why I care that a man was killed? No, I'm asking why you care that a man was killed. <laughs> Forgive me, but I don't follow. Well, <laughs> Most people would charitably refer to you as the crown prince of douchebags. Long may he reign. Your usual reaction to human suffering is to pull up a chair and crack out the popcorn. <laughs> Yes. Yo, Kirito would take front row seats to an execution. Put this man in the French Revolution, it will be like, hey, this is beneath my level, but hey, uh, does anybody have some croissants? What's your angle? Asana, I am shocked and appalled that that is your opinion of me. All I want is to see justice served and to bring that <laughs> poor girl some closure. Really? You care that much, huh? What's her name? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> the girl's name. Yep. What was it? Well, um, you know, it, um, st st starts with an A. Why? Right, why, of course. Well, you can just think of the Beatles. Close your eyes and focus on the screeching in the background. And the name that comes forth is most likely going to be the one that you are hearing. Of course, that's close. I mean, they're basically neighbors. You can understand my mistake. Of course. It's a yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yoga pants? Yoko! <laughs> okay, fine, God. Just want to prove I was right. There's no way that guy's really dead. There's something else going on here, and I'm going to prove it. Wow, how noble of you. Oh, spare me, Wonder Woman. You're only doing this to prove I was wrong. Hey, at least I pretend to be nice to people. Yeah, uh, whatever. Pretend? Wait, pretend? Well, damn, Asuna. Hey, Thunder Lion, how's it hanging? Hey, Kirito? Tiffany. Well, this is my least favorite customer. Nah, you just say that because I'm not dumb enough to buy any of your crap. Yeah, well, if there's one upside to being trapped with these idiots, it's that they'll buy pretty much anything. <gasps> ah! What's the matter with you? Why would you bring her here? I thought we were friends. What? I don't understand. What's the problem? Hey, T Dog. What is up in this his house? Oh, no. <laughs> Are you crying? There's just so much beauty in the world, you know? Shut your trap, Kirito. So that's the sitch. Think you can scope the deets on this gap for us, homie? She better not. She better not pull that stuff. <laughs> hey, but, hear me out. In every single friend group, there's a person like this. I've encountered individuals like this, and she is likely to be dropping any type of similes that she can think of just to describe the black man. <laughs> like, that is literally the unfortunate situation that happens. If you are black or any type of minority in a group, mostly with white people, you will have that one friend who will always make those kind of remarks. And it's absolutely weird. And the only way of countering it is trying to do something similar to them, which is, to be fair, a little bit hard. Like, an example actually, I mentioned my friend Tobias in the last reaction, right? In our friend group, we had a dude who was do something similar to that, because we all went to like the same, like, not after school program, but like a thing that you can go through uh, called Ondom School here. A, a thing, school for young people, where we can go after classes to train different things and we learn guitar together. And there was this one blonde guy who later became a friend of ours, somewhat at least, uh, that kind of looked like Kurt Cobain. Hearing him address me sometime really ticked me off because he was doing this very same thing that Asuna would do. So one day, as we were just talking, I made a remark that, uh, buddy, you kind of look very much like Kurt Cobain, dude. To which he was like, yeah, thanks, I guess. And I replied, yeah, kind of like in a 27 club kind of uh, look. And if you didn't quite catch that, artists like Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Mia Zapata, and so many more, uh, Amy Winehouse, have passed in... The, at the age of 27. And I guess that uh, if I were to be just a slight bit mean here, that was more or less a way of telling him to go kill himself. <laughs> I am not proud of that joke, but yeah, that's kind of 
what it pushes you to do because it's really annoying. He's happily living in his 30s, by the way, so yeah, he's okay. But A for A hole asana, I gotta stop doing that right now. Sure thing, Kirito. Anything for a friend. Um, but I'm the one that asked you, Chocolate Rain. Do you oh, think? God. Why are you ignoring me, bro? You got cotton in your ears? Oh god, I, I didn't mean it like that! Oh, so that's the thing that actually triggered you, huh? And not the rest I was saying before. God, I swear on the digital remains of my boy Tron, if she doesn't take her virtual ass back to normalcy, she's like two steps away from saying, Jesus Christ, it's my... God damn it, Asuna. I'm really sorry, Tiff. Grand Wizard Asuna here is not what you call a people person. Um, excuse me? Mr. Kettle, Mr. Pot called. He says you're black! I give up. I give up. <laughs> I freaking give up. She didn't use a slur, so that's... I guess it's better? Kirito is absolutely right. Give that woman the hood. She already wears the white robes. What? It's a turn of phrase. It has nothing to do with race. I'm sorry. It's just you look like a very angry black man. Okay, now you see that? That was racist. Ah, this is great. See, we're learning stuff. But in all seriousness, Tiff, could you check out this weapon before Asuna starts a full-on race war? I'll try, but appraising a weapon like this ain't gonna be easy. Wow, I can see you've really mastered your craft. <laughs> hmm, Guilty Thorn. Says it's player made. Guy by the name of Grimlock. Other than that, nothing weird about it. Certainly nothing that lets you kill in a safe zone. Hmm. Well, That's I'll enough. Be sure. Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing? Well, clearly I'm stabbing myself with a sword to see if it kills me. Oh God, what am I doing? This thing's too dangerous for you to screw around with. Here, T-Fizzle, you take it. Ah, uh, handing the black man a murder weapon. Tale as old as time. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he zoned in on that real quick, like, no, 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 no. I'm not falling for any allegations today. A black man with a murder weapon and who has the name Tiffany. That means he had to attack him on the means of his race, possible violence, and he might be transvestigated. God damn, he won the lottery. It's a good thing that this was done like 10 years ago or else it would have sounded way worse. Restaurant. I haven't been here in hours. Glad to see the old place hasn't changed. Do you really hate this place that much? Or do you just love the sound of your own voice? It's my gift to the world. Hate to break it to you, sweetie, but the world wants a gift receipt. No refunds or exchanges, only store credit. Uh, I'm sorry. D didn't you want to ask me some questions? Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Kirito! Jeez. I'm sorry, Yoko, but have you ever heard of a player named Grimlock? <gasps> Well, that seems pretty definitive. So how do you know this guy? According to our investigation, he's the one who forged the sword that was used in the... incident. Murder? Really? Then show me the body. There is no body! I rest my case. It's <laughs> SAO! There's never a body! Well, isn't that convenient? C can I just jump back in here? Yes, please. Maybe you can clear this up. Was there any reason Kynes would have wanted to fake his death? What? Fake his death? You mean... Kynes isn't dead? No, oh, of course he's dead. Oh, uh, right. Now, wow. Asuna, you can't prove that he's dead. Let me give this poor girl some hope. Oh, don't even pretend that's what you're doing. <laughs> uh, fine, Asuna, I'll humor you. Yoko, why would Grimlock have wanted to make sweet love to your friend's chest with the business end of a broadsword? Jesus Christ, <laughs> Kirito! What? I asked her! <laughs> This, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, was the Isekai power couple for a solid five years. A racist and an asshole. God, I love this Abri series so much. Jeez, I just can't win with you. Um, well, it might have something to do with his wife's murder. Uh, I'm sorry? Six months ago, the guild that Kynes, Grimlock, and I were a part of found an extremely valuable item. Rather than fight over it, we decided to sell it and split the profits. But when Grimlock's wife Griselda went out to make the sale, she was killed. Since we were the only ones who knew about the item, we realized the killer had to be one of us, and the guild just fell apart. 
Well, that sounds like motive to me. Yeah, that killed for less. But why would Grimlock have suspected Kynes? Well, when I said we decided to sell the item, it wasn't exactly unanimous. Kynes, I, and another player voted to keep it. A lancer named Schmidt. Sounds like you're not a fan. Schmidt. What? No! Oh, we're still good friends, actually. Schmidt. Schmidt. Why does that name sound familiar? You know him? I think so. Oh, God, no! I knew it! They're finally coming for me! It was only a matter of time! The walls are closing in! Is he always like this? Only when he's stressed. <sighs> well, that's a relief. He's always stressed. God damn it! <laughs> He used to review games back in the real world, but ever since he got trapped in here, he's been terrified that his more verbose commenters are going to make good on their threats. I used to laugh. Oh boy. Oh my god. This is a fate worse than death. No, seriously, this is a fate worse than death. Can you imagine that for a second? Leaving a bad review, whether justified or not. And having the angry mob come a come after you? Oh, <laughs> the internet, the manifestation of actual keyboard warriors. Which, by the way, uh, that is an upcoming Tron movie, right? The third installment within the franchise. And in that, uh, from what I read so far about uh, the description of the movie, uh, entities from the world of Tron are actually making it to the real world and not the other way around, like was done in the previous movie, which was actually the final, the plot intent that Clue wanted to do, right? To bring people, his people, to the real world. So, yeah, imagine if the writers take that angle, like all the angry reviewers actually come and manifest themselves. Laugh at their comments, you hear me? Laugh! But now, what if they actually do chop off my limbs, rip out my intestines, and ride me like some sort of meat toboggan? Hear that, Asuna? Meat toboggan. Try getting that image out of your head. Gripping his entrails like the reins of Santa's sleigh, streaking through the fresh morning snow on a trail of bile and gore, as his eyes beg the same question as the horrified children. The jingling of the bells! Why? Oh, God! Did you just shut up and let her handle this? Go on, Yoko. Calm down. No one's going to kill you over your review, Schmidt. Really? Are you sure? My viewers aren't coming for me? That's right. But Grimlock is. And he's coming to deliver righteous vengeance upon us. <laughs> <laughs> this may have been a mistake. I disagree. I think you got a real flair for this. That's not helping! Wait, no. That can't be it. Kynes was killed in his safe zone. Grimlock couldn't be the killer. Thank you. Finally, a voice of reason. It must have been Griselda's ghost. She's returned from beyond the veil of death to wreak bloody vengeance upon us all. Okay. Did I say reason? Sorry, I meant the screaming monkeys that live in her brain. It's all our fault. We should have just done whatever Griselda wanted. There's no stopping her judgment now. And you're okay with this? I don't know about you, but I have a duty to my fans to survive this game. Move away from the window. I mean, to the ones who aren't threatening to use my spine as a pitching wedge. Settle down, you two. I think we can safely assume a ghost is not the culprit here. Right, Kirito? Of course not. Obviously, it was a hit by the mermaid mafia paid in leprechaun gold. But <laughs> all Asuna's trying to do right now is to divert the fact that she's actually a clan member. We all know that they're trying to cosplay as ghosts in the woods. But who was the puppet master? The unicorns? No, they've had a feud going with the mermaids for years. Damn it, Kirito! This is serious! These people's lives are in danger! No, they're not! For the last time, you can't die in a safe zone! <laughs> yep, I remember this one moment, eh? Yeah? Yoko! Kirito, is she okay? Well, I'm not a doctor, but I don't like her chances. Dang. Ending on a somber note like that, that's his, uh, well made. Kirito's sociopathy and denial and Asuna's, um, sorry, Grand Wizard Asuna's subtleties and kind of unfazedness to Kirito's action. Like, she was just like, oh, you murdered Gary. Great. Well, she doesn't really care about NPCs, I guess. This is just a nice cocktail of 
every insane thing that I could think of regarding this show. It's so well done. Guys, uh, thank you so much for checking out this reaction. As always, if you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button. Of course, please do make sure to go and like the original content. And see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.